Hey guys, Jesper Astrom here. This episode will be about how to use Outwit to scrape for contacts. Alright, so hello guys. Uh, today we are going to live stream a little bit of how to use this tool uh, Scrapebox <coughs> uh, together with uh, Majestic in a good way. Outwit is a scraper uh, that I use, uh, or Outwit Hub it's called, is a scraper that I use quite a lot in terms of collecting the first number of contacts that I am going to uh, reach out to when working in any project and it's saved me about um, for every single start of a project when you're sort of sourcing for contacts it has helped me you know it's not even funny it's saving me like 90% of the time just you know to collect the contact details to people that I'm gonna reach out to so it is a very strong tool and uh, what it helps you do is that if you give it a list of links it will visit all of those links and grab the information that you've tell told it to, to grab. Today we're going to use a very simple feature of this uh, tool but uh, in the coming like months and weeks and so we are going to dig more into this and we're going to use a few other scrapers as well in order to be able to do some affinity research. We're going to uh, have a look at uh, how to fi find out what a user likes and, and things like that and I'm gonna try to make it as as easy as possible so we're gonna take it chunk by chunk so today's lesson is gonna be about those initial contacts now let's say I work with a fashion brand I, I want to know how can I get my my uh, products out there more well Lucky for us, uh, there are some companies that have succeeded very well in reaching out through through the web. And one of those players are Daniel Wellington. And so I like to use them as a starting point whenever I'm working with, with fashion in any way, shape or form. So the way you go about doing this in order to figure out what... Uh, kind of like or or their their contacts is that you you visit their online uh, assets such as their YouTube channel and their uh, Instagram or the hashtag about them uh, or possibly even their website but we're gonna settle with these two today and then what you do is that you you c considering like you want to reach people who talk about uh, uh, fashion online because that is how your share of voice would then spread. So what signal do those people use when they are talking about another brand? Well, uh, first of all, they are, uh, or naturally they're using links. So they're, first of all, they're writing something or taking a photo of something, and then they're writing links. In the case of uh, Instagram, it's usually a hashtag, because the hashtag is a link, as you can see in the... Uh, here you see the, the hashtags turn into links so uh, they, they have links and then or in, in the case of a website you know it's, it's, it's just you know every single thing here is a link and whenever there is a link between one place and another place uh, there are some tools that are used uh, mostly for SEO purposes and that uh, you can use in order to track those links. So the hypothesis here is that if I want to reach people who are who have been talking about Daniel Wellington or interested in fashion, then I will if if I am able to see which ones like which which of them uh, uh, have been linking to the Daniel Wellington um, assets online, then I will be in a good place. So uh, what you do then is you you copy this URL to their YouTube page or to any kind of assets that they have. Then you go over to Majestic, which is a paid service, and I'm not being sponsored to say this, I must say. Um, there are some other backlinks tool out, tools out there that are for free, but I like this very much because it's clean and it's, it's, it does just the stuff that I wanted to do. It gives me the backlinks. And so as you can see here, we right away we get a series of backlinks uh, to this uh, uh, to this page. Uh, it is not that many backlinks as you can see here there are 18 uh, of uh, 18 links that point towards this uh, specific uh, URL um, and uh, that is not that many. So what I usually do is that I go to a few sources 
and then I try to find backlinks that point to them. So I go here was the hashtag for for uh, Daniel Wellington on Instagram. I I plug that in here. Da -da, boom. Hit the search. Then I hit export. Oops, and I hit export here. Um, and you see there are 102 backlinks. Let's let's do another one. Let's let's go to the to the Daniel Wellington uh, Instagram account. Let's see what we can get here. Uh, let's close this. And there. And here we see there are a bit more <coughs> backlinks. Uh, Let's use the historic index so we get a few more. And we export the data. So here we have 459 results. Now, uh, what we can do now is that if we would want to, to know what those websites were, what they are, we could you know visit all of those links one by one. But I don't, you know, I, I go with my hypothesis of thinking that all of these 459 people who have been linking to uh, Daniel Wellington's Instagram account, they are into fashion and they are into watches and they are in that clique of people who are interested in what I'm supposed to do or what I want to do now that I am actually launching my own uh, fashion brand. So I hit the export here and what happens is that I get an export list where the 459 plus a lot of other link data here, um, <clears throat> where this uh, all this data is, is located. I remove all of this because this is not important for the purposes that we're working with now. And what I want are these links over here. So now, as you can see, when I hit here, they are not turning, I'm not clicking, it's not working the link. So what I have to do is to use a little bit of a formula in Excel and I write hyperlink and I hit over there, boom. And then I just grab this little thingy here, this little corner, and I pull that same formula down so that I cover all of these links. There we go. Now what we got, because as I said, uh, out with here they can only scrape links on pages so they can only walk through links on pages what we created here is actually a, a list of links that now um, uh, out with can scrape but what we need to do one more thing and that is to save uh, save as and we save this as a web page and we put it in webinar examples there we go and now we can go into Outwit. So now, you know, I have looked at, just to recap a little bit, I have found a source here uh, that I think that the people who link to this page, they are um, they're into fashion. I have used another tool called Majestic in order to find out who has actually linked to that page. I get 459 results. Now I want to find out more about those people. So what I do then, as so I go in here and I hit open and I open this uh, uh, web page that I created now. Now you see these are all the links that uh, I scraped that were pointing back to, to that one site. So now what uh, Outwit helps me to do is that it gives me a series of options here but most of them, like what it what it what I usually use it for is that I go in here I hit fast search for contacts and in the links of this page and then I kick back so I haven't done this exact scrape yet but it seems to be working so what you can see here is that of these so Outwist is now visiting all of these pages and what they're doing is that amongst other things they're collecting the email addresses on those pages and on some pages they have email addresses and some pages they don't have email addresses and so this is a great way it's also collecting the title of that page so 
I now can just sit in one document and I can have a look at uh, what was the title of that post or that page and do I have a contact detail to that person or to that um, to that specific user or publisher and if they seem to be relevant to me then I can reach out to that person now that's the manual way or the semi-manual way this is the automated sourcing way and then I work it with a manual way of contacting the people in this list and as you can see it's actually turning out to be quite a few uh, but I don't necessarily want to to do it this way um, I might want to use some kind of automated pay or way of working but I think that uh, I will save for another another video because now we have collected some data uh, and now we're going to get into cleaning the data, but that we're going to do in, in our next video. So, um, yeah. Now, if you liked that episode, then hit the like button, uh, take the link and share it on your social media sites or wherever you want to share it. Send it an email to a colleague uh, and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more of this. So, yeah, uh, have a good day.